So uh, as you mentioned, people might know their cardiovascular risk factors, uh, but sometimes they're ignoring the biggest risk factor, period, uh, the one that makes the most difference, and that is the biological aging process. You know, um, uh, aging dwarfs even risk factors like smoking and obesity in terms of the relative risk and, and how it makes us likely to get sick. Um, and so if you're doing one thing to, to really measure your preventative health cap capability, I think it really is biologic age. In recent years, we've developed molecular mechanisms to measure this process. Um, and, uh, and that's why we can sort of differentiate now between this relatively arbitrary process of, you know, how many times you've gone around the sun uh, versus, you know, your, your body's age or, or how likely you are to develop some of these negative outcomes of aging. Our, our three main algorithms, uh, as you've mentioned uh, now, are we've created an omic age clock uh, based off of a lot of big data with Harvard. Um, that clock can actually predict death with a 92% accuracy within a five-year time period period which is pretty incredible hopefully we're being able to pick up a signal that we can prevent um, which is why it gets us excited